I know, I know it's June, but what about some cute Alice in Wonderland inspired pumpkin? So for this, I use a styrofoam pumpkin, took off some imperfection, then with some help from some molds from Stamperia, I'm about to do one different kind of pumpkin. So firstly, I roll out some air drying clay, making sure it is pretty thin and then I applied a rose stencil onto my clay and made sure the roses are visible on the clay. Then with some express glue from Pentart I just glued the stripes of the rose clay design onto the pumpkin and I didn't glue it all the way around I let some places out so kind of alternated the clay rose design and then blank space of the pumpkin I'm hoping I make myself <laughs> understandable and when the rose design was glued, I took another mold from Stamperia, a flexible mold, and I just pressed some air drying clay onto it, even roll it out a little bit. So I got the design onto the clay, and then again, I glued it onto the pumpkin where there was no clay before. Don't forget all materials I use will be listed in the description box below so go ahead and check it out after watching this video. And on top of the pumpkin, I glued some, what are they called? Seriously, even if you kill me, I cannot tell you what are they called. Uh, and then I decorated around the pumpkin uh, with some roses and hearts because it is Alice in Wonderland pumpkin. So if you know what the guys on top are called, Please let me know because seriously, I cannot remember right now. But it was a mold from Stamperia Alice in Wonderland. I am gluing the rose, clay roses and hearts all around the pumpkin. Of course, with express glue from Pentart. And after I am done, I let the whole pumpkin dry and after it is dry, the first thing I did, I painted the whole pumpkin in black paint and I wiped off any excess of the paint and then I let the whole thing dry again. And then for a little accent, I painted some stuff red, the roses I painted red, the hearts I painted red, and uh, well, rose design on the pumpkin I painted in gold metallic color. And of course, I let the whole thing dry again. And I again wiped off any excess of the paint for some rustic, look well 
well, I guess I need to correct myself. I painted the hearts in gold paint and after everything was dry, I sealed the whole pumpkin with matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy one if you want to, but I went for the classic rustic look and then I used a 3D glue pen from Pentart and I just, uh, how would I say it, try to trace the rose design on the pumpkin and with this glue you let it dry until it becomes transparent. And after the glue became transparent, I used some metallic flakes for it and I applied it everywhere where the glue was on. So it sticked on the glue, of course, and any excess I brushed off with dry brush. And of course, I put it back into the container because I can use it next time. Oops! As you can see, <laughs> my pumpkin fell down. And I think we are about at the end of my video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Here is the Finnish pumpkin in all its glory if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel please do give me a thumbs up or a nice comment and please do check out my other social medias as well until next time bye